Hello, welcome to the video. So Glaston, we sold out. Oh no, we can't go. Hold on, don't panic. Let me give you some insider tips on how you can go to Glastonbury 2024. As we know, Glastonbury is not just a music festival, it's a cultural icon. It's a wide array of music and comedy and theatre and all sorts of things and you can eat different types of music and you can get... Oh, there's so much to do with Glastonbury. It's, it's like a week like no other anywhere else in the world. So it's quite important that you go if you do want to go, as we all do, of course. We all want to go to Glastonbury, don't we? Make sure you're keen and you want to follow and get some insider advice about how to go to Glastonbury Festival, don't you? Stick around till the end, by the way, because it's not just one or two things. Let's run through the obvious ways to go to Glastonbury. The first one is to volunteer. You can be a steward. You can do all sorts of things. I'll put a link in the description how you can go to the website and in return for three shifts, I think it is, you can stay for the rest of the festival and have a fantastic time and even get somewhere to stay and you get fed could be better than that the important thing to stress is if you want to go to Glastonbury you will go you've got to find a way one way is to go to the Glastonbury Festival website and look under the tab jobs they do mention there's paid work for part-time they're gonna look for people to work there at the festival but bear in mind that you probably won't get a lot of time off during the festival if you're doing social media if you're doing accounts or things like that but that's not the only type of work if you scroll down a bit you can see that they forget about work experience and stuff like that because that'll just be working for nothing they list people who are working for them at Glastonbury which includes the car parking people the traffic service people and it says about market traders all the traders need people to work for them whether they're caterers or whether they're selling hippie t-shirts everybody there wants somebody to work so what you're going to do is you're going to find out who's going to be at Glastonbury and get onto them there are thousands of traders on site there's not just traders there's people who put the electrics in there's people who build the stages there's all sorts of things so Get involved now, but you've got to use a bit of detective work. You can't just like go by, oh, well, I don't want, I don't think I can do that. I don't want to do this. You've got to show a bit of initiative because if you want to go to Glastonbury, you will go to Glastonbury, believe me. Can I just pause there to say that if you like this, please like, follow, subscribe, do what you will. Comment, let me know what you think. I actually think all oh, this is junk, but it's not, because I'm going to tell you to go how to go to Glastonbury. Let's get back to that. Let's not waste any more time liking and commenting. Let's get on with how to get into Glastonbury 2024. There's a whole load of stuff happening locally for Glastonbury. There's forums, there's community groups, all sorts of things. People who get jobs and things locally. So if you, even if you live in the north of Scotland or America or wherever you live, you can still get involved in it all. And that will give you ways to get into the festival. And then if all else fails, so let's get this out of the way. If all else fails and you've got a few grand in the bank, you can always pay and go for hospitality. Because no matter how late it is, you can still buy hospitality tickets. But here's a warning, it may cost you an absolute fortune. 4,000, 5,000, 10,000, whatever. If you've got 10,000 pounds to spare, you can go to Glastonbury and have a fantastic time and live in total luxury. Being able to get your hair done, being able to get your glitter done. Stay connected, join all the websites, find the forums, find the Facebook groups of people who work at Glastonbury, who are local to Glastonbury, who are Glastonbury bands, join a band, get in a band, find out who's going to Glastonbury as a band, and try and if you can be a roadie, be whatever. If you've got a band, contact the organizers of stages. You can find out who organizes the stages by going to the Glastonbury website and then bombard the people and don't expect to get paid, that's another thing. If you've got a band and you want to play there, even if you're like quite famous, just say you're prepared to go, you want to go for the vibe or whatever, and you've done this and you've done that and you're the hottest new thing in, I don't know, Stoke Poges or whatever, then you can still go to Glastonbury. If you want to go, you've just got to put every effort in. So that's it, so the secret to it all is, think outside the box, think of ideas. Don't just say, oh, I can't get a ticket so I can't go. That's not very good, is it? That's not the festival spirit. And also, if all else fails, bunk in. Did I say that? <gasps> anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. And see you at Glastonbury. <laughs>